Today I'm going to be showing you how to create widgets and add them to your site in Magento 2. So first thing, you're going to have to log into your Magento 2 admin panel. Then you're going to want to make sure the static block you're going to be using is enabled. So you're going to click content and then blocks. So I'm just going to be looking for my test block and make sure it's enabled before I start creating my widget. And I can see here that it is enabled, so I'm good to go. But yeah, make sure you go through or you find the specific block you're going to be using and ensure it's enabled. Now click content again and then widgets. And here you're going to click add widget. Now here you're just going to choose your type. I'm going to be doing a CMS static block. So I'm going to select that and then I'm going to just select my design theme. And then you just click continue. Now here you're going to give your widget a title. And here you're going to select your store views. Now you can enter a sort order if you have multiple widgets in the same container or same area. But for my case, I don't have more than one, so I won't need to enter a sort order here. Now I'm going to click Add Layout Update. Here's where you can choose where you'd like your widget to be displayed. So you can have it displayed on anchor or non-anchor category pages, specific product pages, or generic pages. So for my case, I want my widget to appear on all the pages, so I'm going to select all pages. Now I'm going to select the container for my widget. So I want my widget to be right before my footer. So I'm going to select before page footer, but there are multiple options you can choose from. Whether you want it to be bottom of the page, in the page footer, in the page footer container, in the header, whatever you'd like. So I'm going to select right before my footer. And now I'm going to select widget options and I'm going to select my block. So I'm going to go find that block that I made sure was enabled and I'm just going to select it. And now you just click save. Now once that's done, you're going to want to make sure that you flush your cache. So you just click system and then cache management. Now here we can see that my blocks need to be flushed. So I'm going to select it and click flush cache storage and click OK. So here's my website before I refresh it. And if we scroll to the bottom, we can see that I don't have a static block or widget appearing here right before the footer. But once I refresh this page, we'll be able to see it. And there we are. So there is my widget, my static block there. So that's what you need to know to create widgets and add them to your page in Magento 2. Be sure to check out Collins Harper for best in industry Magento web development. And also be sure to check out our Collins Harper blog for new videos and articles and updates. And thank you very much for watching.